Now I know, I know you guys are still waiting for the apartment tour. Nikki is where's the home kit tour? Nikki is where's the lemon home 2.0 tour? Trust me, I think I want it to be done more than you. Welcome to episode one of the best home kit accessories. Let's start off with the Radiator Thermostat E1 from Akara. It basically turns your radiator smart. Now hold on. This is why it's extremely useful. Now, usually when you have like a standard heating system, when you turn the heat on, it basically turns on the heat from all the home and it warms up all the home, which is great, but kind of useless at the same time. So that's where the thermostat E1 from Akara comes in. Now I've got one in every single radiator around my house, which means every single radiator around my house is smart, which means I can control every single heating system differently. So that means whenever I'm working at the studio, I can only turn on the studio. And then when I know that in 30 minutes or 40 minutes, I'll be at the living room or at the kitchen, I can turn those on. All right, let me show you the actual thermostat now. As you guys can see, it's actually got like the, like a display built in. So you guys can see that's the actual, that's the actual inside, it's battery powered. And then you, you've got like this cover right here, which is pretty cool. So you simply twist it for the actual temperature or you can do it with Siri, as I said, but that's like a quick look on how it actually looks. Now the best thing about HomeKit and smart home accessory products is that you can do automations with those products. You know that I've got a water sensor at my shower, okay? And whenever I'm getting a shower, the water sensor detects water and I told that sensor to connect with my heating system with my towel warmer radiator with the E1 thermostat that whenever water detects that, the towel warmer will warm up, which means I'm gonna have my towel already warm automatically whenever I get a shower. I've gotten smart home products in the past, but I hate the fact that sometimes I can't just do it the way that we always do it, right? So with the Akara E1, I can simply twist it or turn it down or turn it up directly with my hand. So whenever I'm not feeling techy, you, we always have those days, right? Whenever we're not really feeling, whenever we're angry at Siri. Siri, we, we get in arguments sometimes, remember? Hey Siri, open the sofa curtains. I mean, come on. This is the curtain driver E1 from Akara, and every single morning at 7 a.m., my curtains actually open and the sun actually touches my face. Touches my face? You know what I mean. Now, this is by far one of the most unique and favorite products that I have on my smart home, especially because this is home kits, right? There's a lot of curtain drivers out there in the market that I've tried but the things that I was missing about it is that it wasn't actually home kit. Now, how do the curtains exactly open and close? Well, it's literally this like block that moves the rails left and right. And I gotta say, it is so incredibly heavy, which means it's such good quality. Like seriously, you gotta hold it on your hand to see the quality of this thing. It's compatible with most curtains and rails and it's got a 12 month battery life. So you only gotta think about it once every single year. Everything else just happens automatically and you charge it via USB-C. So the way that it works is it's literally right there. So you put it like right behind the curtain and I wanted to show you a sound test because there's a lot of home kit accessories that are very loud. You guys can check out how this one actually sounds. Hey, Close the sofa curtains. So I mean, it's not really loud. It's just like a tiny motor that crosses by. So sound quality test accepted. It's also super simple to set up. You basically grab it, hook it to your rail, and you basically tell, okay, go from here to here, and this one go from here to here, and that's it and then the rest is history. Now, as I said before, a smart home product isn't really smart unless it can also do non-smart things. So you can do it manually. And yes, you can also just close the curtains or open the curtains and it will open and close automatically. This is a very big deal. There's a lot of people, whenever they come at my home, for example, and I've had previous curtain drivers that they literally just opened and it's like, no, you're gonna unconfigure it because it's smart. You gotta do it via Siri. And they're like, really? With this, 
They can do that. They can simply close or open. All right, the moment of truth and by far the most impressive product that I have at the Lemon Home. By far, every single time somebody walks in the Lemon Home, they are just automatically mind blown. And trust me, every single time I use this product, it's just like I love my home so incredibly much. There is by far nothing cooler than just walking in your home with your Apple Watch. This is the Acara Smart Door Lock D100 Zigbee. Now, the coolest thing about this by far is that it's actually home key and home kit, but definitely home key is what's most impressive. What's the coolest thing about this is you don't have to tell Siri open the door. You don't have to go to the home app and press unlock, even though you can do that as well. And what Apple has done with home key is this thing right here. I've literally got a key in the wallet app. Now, what's coolest thing about this is I don't even need to double tap and actually do this. I simply walk in the door by just simply raising up my wrist and putting it near. Now there's a bunch of ways that you can safely unlock your door. First of all, via a fingerprint sensor. Yes, you've got like a built-in fingerprint sensor, kind of like Touch ID. It always gives me Touch ID vibes. You've also got a password. You can also use the wallet app on your Apple Watch or on your iPhone. You can use home key by simply like doing it automatically. All right, let me show you the door lock in action. It's once again, it's my favorite product of my home. It's this big, robust door handle. Here's the keypad over here, but my favorite thing about this, oh, something that I haven't mentioned in the review is that there's actually a doorbell all included. But as I said, just imagine I'm out shopping and I don't, it's just like I can't get my keys. Here's the best part. I simply put my watch near the handle and it opens all automatically, which is sick. Okay. Go away. Go away. What are you doing here? All right, let me show you how the back of the lock actually is. There's a couple things that I wanna show you here. First of all, there's no like door handle. The way that you open it is by simply a tap and the door is automatically open. And as you guys can see here, look at this. As soon as I close the door, you see it actually locks it all automatically what I told you in the video. Here's something cool, if you twist it, there's actually child lock has been opened. There's actually a child lock. So it, let's say your kids, if you want to lock your kids in your home, you can actually do that just in case, you know, they go out. And as I said before, just imagine if technology can fail sometimes, which I got to say, it's never actually failed me, but just imagine if it does, you've still got that manually. So you can actually open the door automatically, which is super, super cool. One of the things that I'm kind of scared at my home is leaving the door open. And look at this. Let's say I leave the door like not really well closed. Look what happens. It leaves a It lets you know that the door isn't properly closed. So then you actually properly close it. Now, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. First of all, what if the Wi-Fi goes down? It still works with your Apple Watch and your iPhone. Next question. Now, what if for some reason, Touch ID, the fingerprint sensor, or the Apple Watch, the interior computing smart home ecosystem just doesn't work? What if the fingerprint sensor doesn't work? Am I just locked out of my home? Well, Akara also gives you an actual key, which is super cool. I mean, look at this thing. You simply like pop it open like that and you just shove it in and it just works as well manually. So you've literally got all the ways to unlock your door securely. So those are the three must have accessories that you guys need on your smart home. Links are down below. Thank you Akara for sponsoring this video. My favorite thing about sponsorships like these is that I already used Akara products before in the past. So when a brand approaches you that they wanna sponsor a video of products that you actually already love, it's the best feeling ever. So links are down below in the description if you guys wanna pick any of the products that I've mentioned down below. And yes, stay tuned for the Lemon Home Tour 2.0.